Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. In our last video blog, we talked about a cool new technology called the dot scan, which we showed on our Owen spec. Today, we're back at the Optics Museum here at Zeiss, where we're gonna follow a thread uh, about a cool new technology that starts from the microscope, works our way through cameras, all the way down to the production of printed circuit boards. But to start at the beginning, we have to start at the beginning. In 1884, 18 Carl Zeiss created this guy, which is his first simple microscope. He made 62 of them by hand. Uh, and this was the foundation for his company, and uh, uh, with, which was what he was trying to do. As we fast forward a little uh, later, we go down to 1884, when Carl Zeiss uh, partnered with Abe and Schott to create this guy. This is stand number one. This is the first production microscope, which brought uh, the culmination of those three talents together and started uh, uh, making this microscope. This, of course, is the impetus for all that is now Zeiss. Meanwhile, in 1888, the team at uh, Kodak was making and popularizing cameras. Always wanting to be innovators, Zeiss in 1890 made their camera lens division. In 1896, they made their first planar lens. And in 1902, they made their first iconic Tessar lens. Tessar is Greek for four uh, because it used a very novel uh, four lens system. Um, Right around then after that, uh, Zeiss partnered with a few different companies to create the Icon Company where they made lenses uh, and cameras. Full bore systems and they made some really good cameras. Legend has it in the early 60s when NASA decided they wanted to go into space, they went into a camera shop and said, give me the best camera you have. Of course, they were sold a context camera. That camera then, uh, is like the one we have up here, uh, was in 1965 sent into space and went on a spacewalk. Those images came down, were all over all the newspapers. Uh, again, legend has it, Zeiss saw the images taken off their camera in the newspapers, reached out to NASA and said, hey, can we help you design something new? And they said, hey, by the way, uh, perfect timing because uh, we're gonna go to the moon. So in cooperation with NASA, uh, Zeiss began developing lenses uh, suitable for the moon landing. Of those lenses uh, that NASA and Zeiss created, there were about six to seven of them. Uh, of those six to seven lenses, two of them were UV lenses, which would prove to be important uh, with what was coming up in the 1970s. Let's go have a look at what that is. So based on what we learned from the 60s, in 1977, Zeiss created uh, the lithography planar lens. Uh, the, those two UV lenses were key to this development and it found out, uh, it ended up that uh, these lithography lenses were key to printed circuit board manufacturing. Fast forward all the way up to 2019, we have the creation of the extreme UV lens which resolves down to 13.5 nanometers. That's really small. So you can see how we start from our humble beginnings uh, with 62 simple microscopes, all the way down to a UV lens for um, printed circuit boards that resolves down to 13.5 nanometers. This is one of our many threads that we have at Zeiss. Thank you for taking the time on going down this journey with me and uh, we'll go through other journeys like this uh, in video blogs to come. But for now, thank you. We'll see you next Thursday.